Right, we're also digging into a deadly knife attack in Oregon. Police say an Indiana native was heading home from work on a commuter train as he did every night when he was stabbed to death. Logan Gay is in the newsroom now with more on what happened. Logan. Michael Brady, originally from Noblesville, has lived in Portland for more than a decade. His family still in Indiana tells us the 51 year old was on his way home from work when he was attacked. Now, I've gotten some terrible calls in my lifetime, but that was by far the worse. Michael Brady's niece, Arif Miller, says her family is still processing their grief after police say another passenger stabbed Brady multiple times, ultimately killing him. Investigators say it was an unprovoked attack in Oregon while riding the Max train home from work Friday. I am so angry at this man for doing this because it was so senseless. There was nothing that there was nothing that Mike was doing. He was minding his business. He was listening to his earphone. Brady worked as a maintenance worker at a hotel. Miller says her uncle would normally call and talk to them while riding on that same train home. I don't know if it would make more sense if there was like an altercation or something like a, at least something that made sense, but he was just there and didn't even see it coming. The suspect, 51 year old Chandel Larkin, was found covered in blood and holding a butcher knife. Larkin told investigators he heard voices that said Brady was going to kill him. Larkin is now facing a murder charge. Court documents show Larkin has a long criminal history. He's a registered sex offender with three prior felonies in California, including rape and burglary. Miller says she's mad at him and the system. In my opinion, he, there's no reason he should have been out because if he wasn't out, this wouldn't have happened. Miller says her uncle was a loving husband and a dad to a six-year-old son. He's just a really great person and he took care of his family. He, was, he worked hard and that's what he should be remembered for because he was, he was awesome. He was great. So the suspect in Michael's death is being held without bond.